girl, you put in that work at work and you can't put in that work for yourself. I'm not spending $350, $400 to see nobody in concert. Whitney Houston, Prince, and Michael Jackson will all have to come back. Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lachey and I am about to do a few things today. But yesterday was the second day of me having my twist outs in. So I actually took them out yesterday and they looked really, really good yesterday. But what I'm proud of is my hair because I had took out the twist outs yesterday, which they was really good. It was it was nice and full and everything. So last night when I went to sleep, I put on just a bonnet. Obviously, I didn't want to put on a head scarf and everything because I knew it would mold my hair differently. Y'all, I put on a bonnet. I took the bonnet off and my hair is still, it's, it's still curly. Now, don't get me wrong. Some places need a little fixing up like right here for it to be the first time and for my hair not to turn into a fro. And I was hot as hell last night and I only put on a bonnet. Come on here, come on here, come on. Now, again, yesterday it was nice and full, um, but I'm doing the twist outs. <laughs> I'm doing the twist outs now, y'all. I am super, super, super excited. My party isn't even as fresh as it was yesterday. But yeah, let's get right into the video. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Oh, and another thing. I wanna say it's like four days with these nails. Four or five days. And these nails have not moved. They do not feel like they are moving. I type, obviously, for work. And I've done my hair, I've washed dishes, I've cleaned up, I fold clothes, I've washed clothes. Y'all, you can't tell me these don't look like my nails, okay? But I had to come in and welcome y'all to the vloggy vlog with a two day old twist out. I don't know if I'm gonna try three days, but I might try three days. <laughs> I know three days probably gonna look crazy. Three days gonna be like, girl, you pushing it. You pushing it. Hang it up. All right, y'all, let's get right into the video. Now, how did this man get his car like that? That is crazy. Like how? How, sir? I absolutely love this AirPod case that my mom got me. I like it because it has a latch on the side that locks. So that way your AirPods does not fall out of the case. We spend cash for entertainment. There's more where that came from. That's all I'm saying. It's me and you and we making arrangements. It's you and me and we making arrangements. Is it hot in here or is it just me? I'm so high in here, been smoking on this weed. Told them go and take a shot on three. Told them drinks, it's on me. <laughs> So my best friend, she wants some pots and pans for her birthday, but okay, Martha Stewart, I might have to get the Martha Stewart one for her. I'm loving this. Okay. 
Let's see, y'all. I don't want to get her no cheap ones, so. Okay, so I think I am going to get her this one. Because the Martha Stewart one only comes with how many pieces? Oh, it comes with 12 pieces as well. Okay. I'm going to get her the Martha Stewart one. Oh, and then she has other pieces that I can buy. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Hey, y'all. So it is the next day, day three of my twist out. And <laughs> it look a mess. It looks a mess. My hair looks dehydrated. And I slept completely wild yesterday. But it is okay. I am on my way. I'm so excited. I am on my way to this candle place that I get some of my product for um, from for my business. I told y'all I'm getting back on my business. So I'm super excited. I'm about to go pick up some stuff from there. And then afterwards, I am going to Target. I told you guys that I am getting back to taking care of my hair. And so there is some good product there that I need to get. My auntie, her hair is past the middle of her back. She didn't surpass me so much. Um, and so she told me some really good product to get from there in Whole Foods that she uses on her hair because my auntie is like all natural. So anything she recommends, I'm getting because me and my auntie have the same type of hair. And she said, whatever this product is that I'm about to get, brung her curls all the way back. And y'all, my hair used to be so curly, but from so many flat irons, it clearly then killed all of my curls. So we have a few things to do. All right, y'all, so I just pulled up here. Ooh, my skin look good right now. My hair. Mm, mm, mm. This is what day three look like. How do people be doing? How long is, y'all, comment below. If you've done twist outs, how long is this supposed to last for? Baby, you cannot see this part no more. But it's okay. And then my widow's peak is just standing alone. <laughs> my hair does what it wants when it wants to. I'm excited to be picking up this order, y'all. Like, you don't understand. When I first started my candle business, I was going hard. I was going so hard. And I stopped for a stupid reason, just to be honest with you guys and transparent. I stopped just because it was so much, but I can't want to succeed and go. I can't get where I want to get to without putting in that work. And sometimes it can become very intimidating being your own boss, being an entrepreneur. It could become a lot of work. I need to get over that because I do want to be a full time entrepreneur. And in order to be a full time entrepreneur, they make their own hours. They put in that work. There is going to be tired days. And I'd much rather be tired for myself and my business than to be tired for somebody else. I put in that work at my job. And so I had to have, to have a talk with myself and be real like, girl, you put in that work at work and you can't put in that work for yourself. No, we're not having that. So I'm getting it together. I'm getting my order. Thank you so much. <clears throat> You want to check it out, right? Okay. I got the goods, y'all. I ordered all kind of stuff. And another thing about my business, too, that I appreciate is I have not been promoting it. Like, I haven't been promoting it. But obviously, I am still paying for my yearly whatever with the state of Georgia. Um... And I still obviously pay monthly to have my domain and to have my, it's not monthly for the domain. I think it's yearly for the domain, but I pay monthly for my website because I created my website on Shopify. And y'all, I still be getting orders. I still be getting orders and I do still have candles and stuff made. I, I love and appreciate my supporters, like my customers that love my product they still be placing their orders y'all i just don't be showing y'all because obviously i don't get them as often as i used to but i got the goods let's go to target 
maybe this person just texted me. You wait. Said, And I got this for you. All right, y'all, so I'm back in the house and I am ready to wash my hair and redo the twist out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my friend, Jeezy. Um, she is a beautician out here for the natural hair, but she's really like a colorist. So she really like is fire with colors. But I'm gonna go to her and I'm gonna have her cut off like every single thing, like, don't leave no dead ends, like chop it all the way off because I am starting this new journey. Now, this hair product, y'all, was expensive. It was expensive, but it's really good. And I did not know the stuff that my auntie told me to get is black on. What? And she said it works wonders and it's natural. So I got the kinky curly. I got everything that they have. So this is the natural moisturizing shampoo. And then my auntie said, this is really that girl. It's the Kinky Curly Not Today Natural Leave-In Detangler. She told me to stop using, cause I use um, jam on my hair. She told me to stop using jam and to use this, which is the Kinky Curly um, Curling Cluster. And it's a natural styling gel. So we're gonna see how this actually works. Um, this was pretty extensive, not gonna lie. But you know, you pay for what you get. And so most of the time, the most expensive stuff is better. For example, perfume. The most expensive perfume lasts for days. Like you can take it off, get in the back bed, and the very next day for two days, you're still gonna smell that perfume on you. So I am willing to try this stuff out. And then, of course, I had to get my stuff again black owned as well. This is the mousse to the spray that I was using. In the last video, you guys seen me use this spray, which is the um, leave-in curl refresher. But this is really that girl. This um, texture foam. It's her, so I had to get that. I didn't know that they had other products besides those two. So I ended up getting the Twist and Curl Cream. I'm gonna try this out just because I love their products, but I do use a different cream in my hair, which you guys seen in the last video. If you did not see the last video, check it out. So I am gonna try this out for the Twist and Curl, and it says the perfect twist out, okay? So I'm excited to try that out. And it's everything that I got from Sally. So I'm excited to try all of that out. I'm gonna let you guys know how it works, but I'm gonna call my friend first and have her just give me a flat iron and cut my hair and then I'll start this product. But I'm about to go eat this juicy crab, y'all. I've been wanting juicy crab for, I've been wanting a crab boil for a minute and I used to love juicy crab. I literally haven't been to juicy crab in a year. So I was watching this girl on YouTube and um, she's a new subscriber to me. I started, obviously, I subscribed to her channel. And so I tune in. I love those that support me if you got a channel and you actually watch mine and comment, I'm going to subscribe and comment as well. Her name is, and she just said her name in her video because someone, she was doing like a QA and a and someone was like, how do you say your name? So hopefully I remember, but I believe it's Ty Triana, I believe, love her name. And so yeah, she had a crab boil and I was like, I'm going to give me a crab boil. I've been wanting one. So I am about to go and do that, message my friend, see if she can get me in because I'm excited to get back on this journey and get my hair back where it used to be. Yeah, let's get into these eats because I'm starving. All right, y'all, so we're gonna kind of do like a little mukbang. And let's talk about this birthday trip that's driving me crazy. So I got Dungeness crab, shrimp, a corn and a potato. And I came home and boiled my own eggs because I'm not paying all that money for those eggs when I can come home and boil them myself. So that is what we're about to do. And of course, I got some agua because I did get it pretty hot. Um, so y'all, I'm not telling y'all exactly where we're going just yet for my birthday. You will see when that vlog come out, but we are going out of the country. I don't know what's going on out there around my birthday because I looked it up and there is no special event. 
I guess people is just like, it's the summertime and we're going to travel. Half of the Airbnbs that I liked are gone. These people then reserved it. So I had to go through and get a whole new list. And what's weird is most of these places only have AC inside of the room. Inside of the rooms. So let's say I have a chill day, which I'm going to have. And I stay in. You telling me I have to just stay inside of the room? I can't go in the living room or make me a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich in the kitchen because it's going to be super hot. I'm not having that. So I've had to message so many people and check off of the list if they don't have AC throughout the whole home. And a lot of them just said that that's how it is where I'm going because it gets so hot to where it can like literally mess up. Let me wash my hands. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Oh, and then I forgot to show you guys. I got some hush puppies. I think that their Hush Puppies is by far the best. But anyways, so yeah, I need AC throughout the whole place. Like, and so of course I'm asking them like how far they are from a lot of the places that I want to go to. I finally narrowed it down to like 10 different places. <laughs> so now I have to email all of these people and just continue to ask the questions that I have. I sent the list over to Lisey J because she is going with me to my um, for my birthday. So I emailed it over to her so she can help me narrow it down. She's picking, she wants certain things, I want certain things, so that's what's going on right now. And then I've, I'm a person that make itineraries wherever, whenever I travel. Even if we don't do those things on that day, I like to have a list of things so we're not sitting, you know, at the Airbnb or at a resort trying to figure out what to do. I like to book my excursions before I go so it's no nothing when I get there. So, after getting the Airbnb today, then I can work on the list of things. Because when I tell y'all, the list of things I want to do, I'm not even out there enough. Uh, I'm not even out there that long to even be able to do everything. <laughs> so, I got to narrow it down. I know one of the things I for sure want to do is swim with the sea turtles. Y'all, I love turtles. Um, that was one of my first animals that I was able to have because my mom, she doesn't do animals. And the only reason why I was able to get the turtles because my grandfather bought it for me, her dad. And she ain't gonna tell him no to nothing. So he bought me a turtle and the turtle was, I named the turtle Speedy. He's by far one of the fastest turtles you'll ever see. Well, he was by far one of the fastest turtles that you'll ever see. Mm. It's hot already. Lord Jesus. I don't put on gloves. I don't need no um thing to cover me up. I do seafood boils, okay? I'm not new to this. I am very much true to it. But then I'll be able to work on that. I already took my suitcase out and started trying on things. Mind you, it's like almost a month before we go. I One of the things I started doing before traveling, because I'm still going to overpack, but I'm, I'm not going to overpack as much as I used to. I would just put stuff in my suitcase and try it on when I get there and see if I like it. But now, I'm trying to stuff on before I go to make sure I'm not wasting my time because... One time I went and traveled y'all and I pretty much did not like have basically almost all of the stuff that I put in my suitcase. And so we not doing that. I told, <clears throat> oh, this stuff is hot. <clears throat> I do this to myself every time. I get it this hot y'all and barely could eat all of it because it'd be so hot. Nose be running it and I still, I feel like that's what makes it good. I don't know. It's weird. Oh. Let me crack my eggs and put them in the bag. So I'm just getting prepared, y'all. I'm a cancer. My birthday is July 17th. We are going on the trip July 18th, the day after my birthday, because the day of my birthday... I am going to have something. I don't know if we are just going to get dressed up and go out to eat 
or if I'm going to just have something at my house and my mom handles all of that. I'm not sure exactly. And my mom, she's like, you don't never let anyone plan anything for you. Like, just chill out. And I guess I'm like that because she's like that too. And I guess we're like that because A, we just like to plan things. Like, that's just how me and my mama are. We're like the entertainers. Like, we're always having something at the house. We're always giving something. We're always cooking big. Like, that's just how we are. And I think she just kind of made me like that. I don't know. Because you know how, like, if you let somebody plan something for you and it ain't like, or what you expect, you just don't want your day to be ruined. Even though I know if she plans something for me, is she knows how I am. So I know it'll be something that I will actually like and want to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just make the egg at home. Well, that's only if you're going to take the food and eat it at home. Obviously, if you're going to sit down and eat, then you want to order it all at the restaurant. Oh, that tastes so good. The crazy thing about it, y'all, is A, being from California, we don't eat crab boils. We eat seafood. I never had a crab boil until I moved to Atlanta. And then on top of that, I never had an egg with my crab boil until I moved to Atlanta. And I thought I wouldn't like it, but y'all be tearing them eggs up. <laughs> I be tearing them eggs up. And I haven't had, like, when I tell y'all I love Juicy Crab, I used to eat Juicy Crab all the time. But now since I've been making my own crab boils, it's been like a year since I've had Juicy Crab. Which is good because it is really salty. And so, all of that salt and seasoning and all that, I don't need that in my life. But, that's what I'm doing right now, y'all. I am planning my birthday trip and trying to get everything together. And, the month of July, it's just going to be so busy. Because I'm going to the Missy Elliott concert, y'all. I was never going to miss that concert. It's going to be Missy Elliott, Sierra, um, Busta Rhymes. And I feel like that's all. But I know she's going to bring out Timberland because Timberland, Missy, Missy, Timberland. I mean, come on. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I got family coming into town. So we're going to have like a weekend where we're going to go wine tasting. We're going to do the little tea thing. We get dressed up, put the hats on and things. Um, we're going to have something at the house. And then before that, I'm still debating on if I'm going to go to the Chris Brown concert. Them tickets so expensive. I, I just can't see myself spending that on nobody. And I love Chris Brown. But I'm not spending $350, $400 to see nobody in concert. You hear me? Whitney Houston, Prince, and Michael Jackson will all have to come back for me to spend that $400. That, that's when I'll spend it. You hear me? I've never been a fan like that. Like, I'm a fan. But I'm not no diehard for a fan. Like, Beyonce, <laughs> she would never get that much money from me, ever. So I'm hoping they do the Chris Brown concert, how they did the Beyonce concert, where same day, people was getting tickets for like $50, $60. The most that I would spend on a concert ticket is what I just spent to go to Missy Elliott. And I think our ticket was like $160. Well, $200. $200 is the max that I would spend to go to a concert. I'm not even spending $220 to go to see nobody. I'm sorry, y'all. I just can't. I, I'm a fan. But if I got to be a fan from a distance, that's what I will be. But yeah, I just got a lot of stuff planned, but I know I've been talking a lot. So I'm about to eat some more of this. I'm not even going to be able to eat all of it. I'm about to eat some more of this and then I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. I do this every time. She don't even let me get out of my house good enough before she telling me to put on my seatbelt, which is good because clearly I forget every time. And I love that my car will check me real fast. 
But anyways, I am recording two different videos at one time. Hopefully y'all can see me, hold on. I'm recording this video. And then also the video that you guys will see after this is my very first entrepreneur vlog video. I'm excited y'all. So yes, you're gonna see the same ponytail, the same outfit, okay? Y'all gonna get a little bit and then obviously everything else in more detail would be in the entrepreneur vlog. But I am excited y'all to get back to my business. My business is my baby and I'm so mad that I slacked for a full year. A full year y'all, that is horrible. And when I first started my business, I was going in. You hear me? I was going in. I was doing really good. I was doing pop-ups. I ended up being in the Atlanta Women Expo. I was just doing a lot of things. You know what? I think I may have posted that. So maybe this is my second entrepreneur vlog. That's how that's how long ago. That's so bad. Um, but I've been doing events and everything when I first started my business and I completely slack because I had way too many things going on at one time. And not only that too, I was going through my own personal things. So I slacked all the way around the board. I slacked on myself. I slacked on my business. I may have slacked on a friendship for a little bit of time, but my friends know my heart and know that if I'm not, if I didn't back the way or whatever the case may be, it's, it's clearly for a reason. So yeah, you guys, I am excited to get back to it. I got a lot of things shipped in that I needed to restock on. So I got more of my like traveling candle tins. I got some new smells cause I'm about to make new smells to add a line of like my signature smells. Um, I do mix some of my candle smells that's already on my website, but I wanna have its own, like I'm redoing my website and everything. So I wanna be able to have like, you know, I went looking at other businesses and of course like the candle places that I buy stuff from and everything is broken down in categories. So like people may wanna go to my website and only look for floral smells or they may only want to look for clean smells. And I don't have my website broken down like that. Um, I have it broken down more so like if you are if you want candles, you look under here. If you want, you know, um, sugar scrubs, you look underneath here. And then from there, it has the different smells. Or maybe they may be looking for seasonal smells. You know what I'm saying? Things that come out around Christmas and Thanksgiving. So I want to be able to break it down like that. And also break down how each candle scent like how each each one smell i don't have it like that on my website i just got the smells on there and i don't know why i didn't do that because how are they supposed to know what a particular smell smell like like people just supposed to guess and don't get me wrong even though it's like that i was getting a lot of sales on my website like i might have to do a old video of like when I first launched my business because I was promoting it before I even I was promoting it before I even launched it and I want to say as a small business owner on my launch day I had made like $800 y'all I couldn't believe it I had got so much love you guys I could not believe it and then at pop-ups because how i would have like my table set up and i'll have my candles burning and everything just so nice um people were stopping by and was selling and i have returning customers still to this day i'm not getting as much sales as i used to so i need to i need to get back to my business y'all and i'm so excited about that so we are going to go into the basement and do a few things i don't know how much i'm gonna show you guys all of that stuff may just be on the entrepreneur videos but of course i'm gonna give y'all a little behind the scenes or whatever but i know those videos will be more so people that may that are interested in candles are or you know trying to come out with a candle business or whatnot so yeah i'll see y'all in a minute all right y'all so i'm back in the house i am in the basement Again, I am filming two different videos to show y'all a little bit 
and then to do more of the entrepreneur for the entrepreneur vlog after this. But I did want to show y'all some of the things I got from Dollar General. I'm super excited about these because my room is like a boho theme and I do do tea lights inside of my room. But right now I have like a chrome silver tea light holder. But y'all, they have like these wooden ceramic ones. How cute are these? So I got two of these, super excited about that. And then what else did I get? And everything else really is for the entrepreneur vlog. I mean, I did get some more batteries and some Q-tips. I need to clean my ears. And then I got some Q-tips also to test out the smells that I'm about to add to the website. So, yeah, I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of the behind the scene, but I am about to go back to my entrepreneur vlog. I don't know how I'm going to close out this video, but I know I'm going to be back to y'all, so. I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you can show me how to love. Maybe I'm going through a drugs. You don't even have to do too much You can turn me on with just a touch Baby